So if you've been following the series, I've been going over updates and features that we would want in FL Studio 21. Image Line definitely does watch the channel, so your comments and your likes definitely help these videos to get the word out over to Image Line. So definitely keep doing that. In those previous videos, I've mentioned Patcher quite a bit because there's a lot of capabilities that Patcher is able to do that kind of fill in the gaps when it comes to features and plugins that we wish that we had in FL Studio 21. Patcher actually allows a lot of those capabilities. For example, mid-side processing, left-right processing, multi-band processing. Patrick can do all of that. However, it's the routing and the tediousness of Patcher that makes it not as fun and overall just slows you down, especially if you're someone that's not saving your presets. So number one, it would be a lot faster to be able to auto-route these plugins as you add them in. For example, when you right-click and you add a plugin, you'll see that this gets auto routed directly to FL Studio. But as soon as you add another plugin, you can see that it just does some weird routing and that continues as you add more plugins. And then you get a different reaction when you add plugins from the browser. So if I go to effects, add in this chorus, you can see that it got routed nowhere. So we're getting different results depending on where you're adding these plugins from. It would be nice to have all these react the same exact way when you're adding plugins, but also as you drag plugins in here, it would be nice to have a window pop up saying, do you want to route directly? route before the chain or route after the chain. That way the plugin comes into the window routed automatically and you're not having to do this. Link, click, link. That gets really tedious, especially once you start having long plugin chains and you're trying to find the plugins that you wanna to route to. It'll just be a huge time saver to just add a new plugin to the end of the chain or the beginning of the chain or directly as a parallel chain. Number two, it would be nice to be able to change where these are routed to a lot faster. So if I were to just click right here, maybe hold control and move the scroll wheel up or down, it would route this to Mellotron or Isotope or Labs. It would just cycle through the different plugins. I feel like that would be much faster than having to do what I'm about to show you right now. So say I wanna route this air compressor to Isotope. Well, let's unclick that. Well, that didn't work. So in order to unroute the air compressor, I have to unroute Isotope Iris. Then all of a sudden I have access to this air compressor and then I can route that. Then I have to route Isotope Iris back. Now say for example, I made a mistake and I don't want air compressor routed to Isotope Iris. So I wanna unlink that. Well look, now FL Studio is getting unrouted instead. And now I can unroute the air compressor. So it's doing this in a very particular order and it's really tedious because you're having to reroute stuff over and over again. So it would just be really nice to just have a scroll wheel where you could just scroll and route these wherever you'd like. Number three, speaking of scroll wheels, it would be nice to be able to use the scroll wheel to adjust these volumes. Right now you can only adjust with your mouse, but it would be nice to just use your scroll wheel instead or to hit control or alt or shift and use the scroll wheel there. That one's not as big of a deal as using the scroll wheel to change your connections, but it would still be really nice to have if we're adding scroll wheel implementation into Patcher. Number four, simple macro knobs. So it would be nice instead of creating a new controller inside of your surface area and having to route that and so on and so forth, it'd just be really nice to have another tab here that just has maybe eight macro knobs already set up for you where maybe you could right click and switch it to a slider instead of a knob or whatever, so on and so forth. But overall just have a macro tab here where you could link any of the controls in here into the macro tab. And then of course, be able to still use that in automation. That way I can go into my effects and link any of the knobs and sliders to just one knob and just create a massive effect just by turning up a knob. Right now, in order to do that, it's just a little too complicated. I would just love to have a tab that just has the macros already set up for you. And then all you have to do is just link to controller, just like you normally would do, where you right click a knob, link to controller, and then boom, you have control over that knob. Number five, one of the things that I was really excited about for Patcher when it was first released was the idea of doing a lot of drum processing inside of Patcher. But I found myself having to use the effects version of Patcher inside of the mixer channel instead of loading Patcher as an instrument inside of the channel rack, which really isn't a big deal, but it still would be really nice to be able to 
take a sampler and drag it into Patcher to use audio files inside of Patcher. If you are someone that's looking to use audio files inside of Patcher, uh, say for example, maybe you have like a weird plugin chain and you actually want an audio file in the middle of that plugin chain to add into that chain. Your best bet right now is to load up DirectWave and then load your sample into DirectWave. But it would be nice to just have your basic FL Studio sampler to just drag into here, which reminds me of another plugin that we can't use inside of Patcher, which is 3X Oscillator. 3X Oscillator is my go-to for basic sine waves. I usually use it to make a lot of my base patches and 808s, but when you try to load 3x oscillator, it'll say the FL plugin 3x os is not supported in Patcher. So it would be really nice to get that support inside of Patcher so we could start using the synthesis inside of 3x osc. Your best substitute for that is actually Citrus, but overall Citrus just has a lot more bells and whistles that I don't really need, which brings me to another option, which I would say number seven for Patcher. I noticed that Mini Synth actually does work inside of Patcher. So if we add so if we go up and add mini synth, you'll see it shows up just fine. However, when you go to the oscillator and the waveforms, there's not a single sine wave. We don't have any sine waves. I was hoping that bell would possibly be a sine wave, but it's not, unfortunately. So maybe if we just added some more waveforms inside of mini synth, that would definitely suffice for having for not being able to have 3x oscillator in here. But I think the main reason 3x oscillator isn't able to be used inside of patcher one of the things that people don't realize about 3x oscillator is that it actually is a sampler as well. So here, if you actually click this waveform button, you're able to load up a sample. So let's just go to packs. Then when you click over to the sampler, you'll see that the sample is loaded here, but it's synthesized. So that's a really cool thing about 3x oscillator. That's actually the technique that I use to make all my synth bases. I find basic wave shapes and I throw them into 3x oscillator and then I change the oscillation inside of the plugin and that gives me bases that sound like this. And as you can see, it's just 3X oscillator with all the oscillators set to sample and in the sampler, I just have a basic wave shape which is a default wave shape inside of FL Studio. If you want, if you're wondering where these are, you just go into packs and go to shapes and you'll see high quality and miscellaneous. That's, these are all the different basic wave shapes that I've used for my synth bases. I do have a synth base tutorial where I go over all that. I'll link that down below. Also comment anything that you would like to see in FL Studio 21 in general. I know that ImageLine does watch the channel, so your likes and comments definitely help get the word out. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.